Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Let's see what they have to say to you today. Now guys, do bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. If you are interested in a personal reading, my information will always be down below. Thank you to those who donate to the channel and hey to all the new subscribers. So let's jump into this for you, my Virgos. I do hope that everybody is well. Hope everyone's well. So, ancestors and angels, give me a message for the collective, for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy today? What is the message that you would like me to deliver? For the sign of Virgo, what is the energy? Virgo. All right, one more. All right, Spirit, give me two cards for my Virgos. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? What is the energy here? First card coming out here. Kind of coming out sideways. So you have don't stop. Now, one of the first words I heard with this card was temptation. Um, so, I don't know. For some of you, there could be a scenario or a situation that maybe arises where, I don't know. Don't stop, though, whatever this is. Don't let some, it's almost like I want to say, don't let something take you off your path. So, give me a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Follow my signs of Virgo. For my signs. <laughs> Yeah, there's something better. Hmm. Temptation. Something may seem like, I don't know what this is, right? I don't know. <laughs> it just feels like an energy of something coming along. It sounds good. It looks good, right? So this could be in anything. But it's almost an energy of, is it too good to be true? And for some of you, yes, it is going to be too good to be true. Because the universe doesn't want you to start because they know where you're going. It reminds me of a song, but I am not going to sing that song. <laughs> so you have there's something better. So let's get some cards. I actually want to get the love and light cards now. And I feel like, because the song that I'm hearing in my head is, I feel like a lot of you are going to know that whatever this is, is a temptation. It's almost, uh, I don't even know how I would explain this. All right, let's keep going. I just feel like a lot of you know. So you're able to recognize and see certain things that I want to say maybe ain't genuine or a person isn't being their authentic self or you go for a job interview and you just have this energy where you're just like, mm, nah, this ain't the job for me or nah, this ain't the car for me or nah, this ain't the home for me, right? It, there's a feeling. It's that gut feeling. Thank you, spirit. Listen to your intuition. <laughs> All right, give me two cards for the sign of Virgo. Don't stop. Why is it here? You have make the best of every situation with God. Everything is possible. It kind of, to me, almost feels like somebody coming in and promising you something. There's something better. Why is it here? Thank you, Spirit. That's funny because at the bottom of this card it says with God everything is possible. Then the card at the bottom of the deck it says with God all things are possible. It says if you have faith even as small as a mustard seed you could say to this mountain move from here to there and it would move. Now, a lot of you may think literally like a mountain, 
It may be a metaphor. This may be a difficult situation. This may be someone who is difficult to get rid of. Take it how it resonates, right? Spirit is saying, who is that? Whitney Houston. I'm hearing, if you believe. So, <clears throat> yeah, I think she sings a song with Mariah Carey, I think. So if you believe, I'm not sure. And then look, there's something better, a happy home. It says my people will live in safety, quietly at home. They will be at rest. So it's almost like this temptation would come in and bring some kind of disturbance for you. Is kind of the energy that I'm getting. Spirit is saying, whenever this comes across you, for whoever this resonates for, bypass it. Now, I did see the word forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if it's still there. Yep, it is. Forgiveness. So this is doing it in a, in a way where you are still coming across as the empress or the emperor, right? This is not stepping out of your character and whatever. This is dealing with this situation. Ooh, okay, spirit. I'm hearing as the angelic being that you are. Okay, so don't forget who you are, Virgo, um, and moving forward. But let's see what this is about, because now it's, it's making me wonder, you know. Give me three cards for this situation. Don't stop. What is the energy? Yeah, look at that, the Knight of Air at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be rushing in towards you here. It could be an air sign. It doesn't have to be, right? It says events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. Don't rush in any, don't rush into anything here. I think you had this message before, but let's see. Give me three cards. Thank you. But don't stop. This could be some kind of communication coming towards you, a message, information. But the Knight of Swords, to me, sometimes is, like I said, um, it can be someone who is coming in, yes, in a haste, in a rush. Sometimes it can be somebody who's angry. The Knight of Swords is sometimes dressed in armor, right? Or always dressed in armor, yep. Sword up, ready for battle, almost. So let's see. Give me three cards for the don't stop. Three cards. Thank you, Spirit. Coming out sideways. It's a blockage. Okay, so someone is someone here is in some kind of a mental entrapment, right? The eight of swords. Oh, wanted to come in reverse. Mm, the emperor. One more. There's a message for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. And ego. Okay. So again, this energy of someone may be vibing in this ego space, right? Someone here seems to be worried about something. In fact, it really seems like overly worrying. Now, this could cause whoever this is to do something. I almost said out of the ordinary. Or, you know, you know, when sometimes when people are in a panic about a situation, they will act out of character. And that's how it feels. So the Eight of Swords says an illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So there is somebody that wants to come towards you. Now, why they're afraid? I don't know. They know, right? Again, that energy of somebody not being their authentic self. Maybe somebody hiding something here, right? Someone may have got themselves into something where, I don't know, Virgo, if they need your help. I don't know if you have something to do with this somehow. But this is somebody who, I, I want to say, number one, kind of feels like they're losing control, okay, with the Eight of Swords and the Ego card here, right? And the Emperor in Reverse. The Emperor in Reverse can always, also be a tyrant, someone who... um not only losing control, but maybe at some point has overdone their control here. Let's see what it says in the upright. The emperor. It says organization and logic. Yeah, this is someone who is not being logical. They're not thinking rationally here. 
they are not feeling organized so again this is someone who could be in a whole mess either in their head or in real life right may someone may have got themselves into a situation here and leadership yeah but not leadership in the right way with the emperor in reverse now, some of you, like I said, you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. It doesn't have to be. We have the Emperor out here. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. The Ego card is giving me that energy. I want to see... Mm -hmm. Brut, what is the Eight of Air? Why, why the anxiety? Why the stress? Why the worry here? The six of earth. So is this about money? Someone may be stressing about money. But that's what I feel like. I'm hearing something about identification. So again, I don't know if this has something to do with some like legal documents or something like that, right? This even, I'm, I don't know. I'm hearing fraud. I'm hearing someone scream fraud. So I, if someone's screaming fraud, I don't know if somebody here is worried about getting caught about something that they did here, right? But it seems to be taking over their mental. It seems to be taking up the space in their head. And for some of you, yes, they may get caught here. Because if you look at this card, that one horse in the front is running away, right? And the rest of those horses are just kind of standing there looking. So this could talk about exposure, Somebody being exposed, right? People seeing someone for who they really are. And that horse is galloping away. So again, I don't know if this is somebody who is trying to escape something that they did here, right? But let's keep it moving. There's something better. Now, that sounds more like it. Because it could be a whole thing here, Virgos, where there's someone here in all this turmoil. And Spirit says, well, my Virgos are happy. Uh, we we making sure and it's also that energy and i think i've said before is that you know god doesn't sleep and see how this i'm not saying this is god in this image but you know it looks very similar to the images that they have shown us um but this person is holding this world in their hands he's got the whole world in his hands sees all sees everything Protected, watched over. Give me three cards for there's something better and a happy home. Renewal. What belongs to you belongs to you is the first thing I heard. Everything restored. I'm hearing fill them up. <laughs> so I don't know. So it's even giving me this energy where, um, what example could I give? Virgo, you may be going through this energy where you find that things are just happening for you. It's, how would I say it? I just want to give everyday examples, right? So you're able to put food in your fridge, in your home. You're able to do your gas. You're able to pay your bills. You're able to buy your kids what they need. You're able to do these things. And it's almost like blessings. Renewal. It says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Again, I feel like some of you are going to hear something here, right? A favorable assessment of the facts. So whatever this is, Virgos, it feels like you guys come out on top. Renewal. Oh, I'm also hearing that. I'm hearing tenfold, right? So it kind of feels like, guys, if, if you feel like throughout life or whatever, you know, you have lost something, whether it be by the cause of someone else's hand here, right? Or somebody's actions. Spirit says you get renewed ten times what you lost for some of you. Well, damn, that would be a happy home, right? <laughs> what is Oh, not too many, too many. I don't know. There was some deception here, though, for sure, right? With the seven of air. 
This could have something to do with a water sign. A female water sign doesn't have to be. Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio here, right? But whoever, even if that was the case, whoever this is, they are left in disappointment. They are left crying over spilt milk. They are left in regrets here. So let's put those back. Give me two cards for, wow. <laughs> what is this? Oh, for some of you that, if, <laughs> for some of you, if there is a water sign behind this or a fire sign, I feel like their punishment there, which they just showed me, which was the page of pentacles, is to lose financially. All right, let's see if we can get two cards. <laughs> Give me two cards. Thank you, Spirit. So there's something better. The four of air. Okay. And one more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> but I goes, just be aware of yourself, your surroundings, the people that you keep around you. They are going to be people around you that are really not going to be happy for you. And it is what it is, right? So you had the four of air come out with the renewal. Look at it. It says time to rest or take a vacation. <laughs> Spirit's telling you to relax. We got this. We got this. You just stay on the right path. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Right? That again, that energy of staying in the energy of being an angelic being. It says, allow more time before making a decision. Meditation may provide answers. So if there's something that you're questioning here or doubting or worrying about, Spirit's saying that you may get answers through meditation, through your dreams, things like that. And I always include things like songs and movies and stuff like that. So like I said, signs can come in absolutely any way possible. You have the awakening and it says, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. It's still giving me this energy. I feel like some of you are going to be awakened to something. Now, I don't know if this is a situation where you are going to have to make some kind of decision. Again, the energy of, you know, spirit saying don't rush into anything. Allow more time before making a decision. And then the awakening. It's almost like if you give yourself that time, boom, there it is. You will see what you need to see. You will know what you need to know. You will hear what you need to hear. So, let's get at the bottom of the deck. The page of fire and the king of water. Oh, the king of air. Page of fire. I, I think I said this in your last room. They're just trying to add all little bits in today. I'm uh, telling you that you, some of you may have a choice of two here. We have a king of air and a king of water. So you may have a choice between an air sign and a water sign. Page of fire talks about somebody sending news towards you or somebody sees you as good news. So I feel like you're catching people's eyes here, Virgo. Um, and I feel like in a romantic way here. For some of you, this is going to be a new relationship that you are moving into and moving forward with. Oh, let the best man win. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, woman. I ain't forget my men. I ain't forget my men. So let's end this with a Mother Mary. Mother Mary, what do we have for Virgo today? Thank you. What is the energy? How would you like to end their reading? Give me one card. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for Virgo? Show me. I don't know. Mother Mary's been real quiet lately. What do we have? Thank you, Mother Mary. Thank you. Give me one more. No? Okay, thank you. All right, so your first one out is trust. 
it says, I know that God in his in infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now. There is something better. So don't stop. But you have to you have to trust. What, what was the card that we had? Was it even... You guys, was you remember the card and it said something about a mustard seed, right? Let me see if it's still there. If you have faith, a small, even as small as a mustard seed, trust. Know that your prayers are being answered, know that you are being heard and that you are not being ignored. But also know that what I'm hearing here is that the universe is not going to bring in something before it's time. Everything is divine timing. Your last one you have, oh, coming out with this, something better and a happy home. You have joy. <laughs> it says, by enjoying this moment, I am giving thanks to God for my life. So they want you to stay high vibing in a high spirit. Even if you feel like, oh, but I don't have anything to feel good about. That's a lie. That's absolute cap. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> that is a lie. We all have something to be grateful for. Even, even if it is just saying thank you for waking me this morning. Joy. So let's get your little angel card and then let's end this. Can't even see where we're at. All right, one card for Virgo. Thank you, spirits. Thank you, my ancestors and my angels. Give me one card for my Virgos. Oh, I'm not gonna take three. Thank you. I have one. Beautiful. The bottom of the deck you have Rochelle and it says as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart prosperity comes to you now let's see what the card that we got is Carissa is that how you say it Carissa whoa why is it giving me this energy of some of you Gaining your wings. I know that sounds crazy, but that's kind of how I feel. Like some of you have gained your wings. It says you are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and guide and to guide you to your next step. Wow, happiness awaits you. Do you know what? For some of my Virgos, I'm actually getting energy here of this Eight of Swords energy could even be your energy. Maybe you were dealing with some kind of a tyrant energy and it's got you all in your head about moving forward, about being positive about the next step. It's that energy of a let it go. The eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual, spiritual, <laughs> spiritual, <laughs> spiritual and emotional growth. Yeah, some of you, it's time to move on maybe from, like I said, somebody who was maybe filling you with illusions or this could even be somebody who was causing you some kind of confusion, right? Because the eight of cups is coming from the seven of cups. All right, Virgos, that is what I have for you. That is your message from your ancestors and angels. If anybody is interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below, guys. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe, love and light.